The molds, the molds that we have for the for the cast parts. I mean, there are between clutch covers, ignition covers, water pump covers, water pump impellers, rad valves. I don't know, million dollars maybe. So it, it starts with wax patterns made from tooling and all are clean and inspected by hand for the highest level of quality. The, va the rad valves, um, they are unique to each model, each make and model. It's not a one size fits all. Um, as with the water pumps or super coolers and, and factory racing covers, um, you know, they're designed, tooled, and produced in-house here in Pennsylvania and yeah made specifically for each each model bike. After pattern is, is finished in wax um, it will be assembled in a in a grouping of, of parts and run through the slurry area where it, it's, it's dipped into it's it's essentially it's a it's a glue and and a silicone based um, sand uh, runs through the dipping process uh, six times where there's drying time between so approximately three days worth of dipping per cycle of part and um, um, after the final coat's done and last dry it can be moved over into the foundry area where the autoclave is used to melt out the wax and that creates the the shell for the liquid aluminum to be poured into uh, before the before the pour happens, though, the shells are moved into an oven and heated up to around 2,000 degrees to burn out any of the residual, you know, wax or re any residue that might be inside the shells. Um, then they're maintained at about a 1,400 degree temperature so that until they're ready to pour. Uh, we have a guy who dresses up in the uh, spacesuit and climbs into the oven and pulls out the, the shells and sets them up for pouring. Um, and within the crucible where the molten aluminum is, temperature-wise that's about, about 1200 degrees is where the metal is poured. So the shell is heated up to temperature so that there isn't uh, any cracking happening upon the pour. Um, so the, the, the shells are filled to the top, uh, put, put on the floor, set aside to cool. Um, after cooling, all the ceramic um, shell is, and slag is chipped off, knocked off. Uh, individual parts are cut off, uh, checked for defects, um, sandblasted. So all the ceramic is removed. Um, any maybe some finishing work is done at that point to make sure there's, uh, they're, they're perfect and clean. And then they'll move on to uh, the finishing area for uh, either powder coating or finished machining or assembly. Depending on the part, we'll have a, a finished goods area where parts will sit for either you know, boxing, whether they need gaskets or a few accessories, nuts and bolts, stickers, instructions in the box out the door.